Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Here it is, the final boss, Majora's Mask. Alright, there are several ways to kill Majora's Mask. The best way that I find, and my preferred way, is to use light arrows. Arrows work just as well, however light arrows, as we know, are much more powerful. The front of Majora's Mask is completely invulnerable to arrows, so what we want to do is, when he does that, we want to hit the back of it, and then we want to jump attack the back of his, what's it called? Now this is the second phase, yeah, after one hit, it's already the second phase. All of these masks are going to come out and try to shoot, well, or successfully shoot at us. I believe two shots with, from light arrows will get rid of them, as we can see here, we just shot Georg's mask. We can do that, but it does take a lot of magic, so we're just going to focus on Majora's mask for now. Something I want to mention, those tentacles coming out of Majora's Mask, think about it. That's how it was latched onto Skull Kid. I mean, think about Skull Kid wearing Majora's Mask, and those things were wrapped around his face. That's kind of scary. This, what we can do with this is we can reflect this against the other... Well, too late now. We can reflect that against the other masks to kill them immediately. Now let's... Well... Attempt to shoot him. There we go. Let's come over here and jump attack. And this mask is starting off a bit slow by the, um, this mask. Sorry, this fight is starting off a bit slow for a final boss fight, but trust me, it does pick up, so just be patient. Let's wait for him to slow down. Okay, or not. Ah. Gonna slow down Majora mask thing. And I missed that. Of course I did. Okay, and it's reflecting it. Let's, oh, or we could have done that. I forgot about that. We can also reflect it back at him and it'll damage him. But it's not over. Meet Majora's Incarnation. This is a crazy phase of the fight. Um, basically, he kind of just runs around, ouch, runs around dancing around, by the way. Um, this is a very interesting phase of the fight, to say the least. There he is, moonwalking. Uh, what we want to do is shoot him with light arrows and just attack him with your sword. It's as simple as that. Uh, he is very quick, though, which is what makes this, you know, somewhat difficult. You want to shoot him when he's attacking like that, for example, but of course he is also attacks very rapidly, which makes it difficult. So the second he stops, or not, you want to try to attack him. Um, let's see if we can do that. I'm running very low on magic. Uh, come on, stop moving. Stop moonwalking. Ow. <laughs> kind of funny how I unintentionally just shot the or er, go uh, goat, I think. Uh, stop moving! Of course, this is what makes this phase of the battle difficult, once again, is his speed. 
There we go. Majora's Wrath. Now, since this is the true form of Majora, there is something that I would like to talk about. Um, while I try to search for more magic, I believe that Majora is actually female. Looking at the body, well, you can't really see it now, it does have a lot of features and markings on the body that do symbolize female body parts. Well, I can't really get a good look at it, but... Hey, no, I don't think there is any more magic. Great. Anyway, uh, what we want to do is just shoot him with an arrow and then go up to him. He will attack you with whips and knock you back. It does not do damage. Um, there are a couple of whip attacks such as that one that do do damage, but when he just does sideways whip attacks, they do not actually damage you. Uh, back to my theory about Majora being a female, also listen to the noises that it makes. Yeah, it could be a high-pitched man, but honestly, it's it's a bit, you know... Th there are a lot of different ideas about why it is female, and there's really no difference whether it is female or not, but, you know, just saying. Um, Tattle, I don't really want to target her anymore. Anyway. See, I've been restrained from calling Majora her this entire Let's Play, but, you know, now I can actually say her. And she went away. Okay. The fact that we don't have any more light arrows. By the way, the Zora form is also pretty decent to use for this entire battle. Um, the boomerangs can be helpful during the Majora's Mask fight, and it's just the boomerangs are can be useful. Let's just say that. All right, come on. Well, okay. Stop with your whips. Can I, like, just de- Thank you. Okay. Ow. Well, that's a painful attack. Ow! She just- She just kicked me. Did you see that? Jump attack. Oh, okay. So, one of the phases is that she's going to summon that top. Which has an eye on it, I just realized that was kind of interesting. Uh, that top, top does, do, does do quite a bit of damage, and it can catch you like in the middle of its spikes and do uh, uh, rapid damage. So be very careful with that. And maybe this one? Be the end. Alright. It's got a lot of health. Ow. Thanks, Georg. You're ruining everything. Let's see if we can get rid of these masks. I believe it's just Twin Mold left. There's Twin Mold up there. Alright. And now we're out of arrows, so that's great. Uh, what can we do now? Well, I guess we could always just use Zora form, like I said. Oh, actually, sorry, we can't use a Zora form. The only way that you can use these different forms is that if you don't get the Fierce Deity's Mask. So, hmm, okay. Well, Hookshot, possibly? Even though it is slower, we do need something ranged. Huh. This is going to be difficult. Unless we can just walk up to her, which I doubt we can do safely. Oh, maybe we can. There we go! Okay. And that... is the final boss fight against Majora.
Ah, he's awake. You guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend. Did you... did you save me? I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? You have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. So that right there is proof that this Skull Kid is in fact the same Skull Kid from Hyrule. He's not a Terminian counterpart. So that is that means that Link isn't the only person from Hyrule in this series. I also have theories that the Happy Mask Salesman is also from Hyrule, but that's something to get into later. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. And he just fades away. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Thanks for inviting me, Tattle. You're such a nice companion. <coughs> Link! Thank you. And with that, we have completed 100% of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I like that Let's Play. I like how it turned out. Um, compared to my last two, Portal 2, Nightmare House 2, this is by far my best, obviously. I mean, I put so much work into this. 
and this is how I'm going to put my channel going forward. I really like the idea of doing, you know, oldish Nintendo games. I may still do some newer games, but I, I like this, you know, I, I like, I don't know, I really like these kind of games, and I like the Legend of Zelda games a lot, by the way. So, there's definitely some of that in the future. Um, this, <laughs> this Let's Play had a lot of stress in the back. There were several times when I had long pauses in the Let's Play, and I do apologize for that. But there was a time where I took maybe two months off during the summer, so I apologize. But we got it done, and I'm proud of it. I really do like it. So what I was saying about the Happy Mask Salesman, um, the, it was proven, well obviously Link is the same Link from Ocarina of Time, and it's now proven to us that the Skull Kid is the same one from Ocarina of Time. The Happy Mask Salesman, he's a very, very mysterious character. He, it's obvious that he knows more than he wants, than he leads on, but he hints it very subtly that he knows what's going to happen. He knows everything that we're going through. He knows about the Song of Time and us going back in time and reversing. I think he knows everything. How does he know everything? I don't know. But I think that he just... He definitely knows more than he leads us on to believe. So anyway, I really like this uh, credit sequence, by the way, just going back and saying all these... all the uh, people, you know. It's, it's by people, I mean characters that would, you know, they're not all people, I guess, or humans, but whatever. There's the postman, returning to his post. I have your hat, by the way. I meant to give it back to you, but you know, kind of, kind of left. Um, no, actually, I gave it to a kid on the moon, so I mean, you can go up to the moon if you want to, you know. In the bomb shop, they have space travel plans. I remember seeing those. You can go check those out. There's the Rosa sisters dancing on the stage, of which we actually performed on. And there's that guy staring at them again. Such a creeper. Oh no, it's these girls. Yep, my great fairies. Hi there, how are you? They did give us some good prizes though. One of them made my my health a bold font. I love that. And here are the Ro or uh, Romani and Kremia. I was about to call them the Romani sisters, but only one of them is named Romani. Oh, there's the bomb people. Oh, the, the bomb lady we saved several times, and her son, who looks like he would not be a mama's boy, but he obviously is. And there's Grog, all depressed. Well, he might not be as depressed with it. all his cuckoos now, all his full-grown chickens. Ah, uh, and, uh, the band, what's the band called? I forgot what the band was called, the Zora Band. And there's the Goreman guy, by the way, watching Lulu, as we told him about. There's the Ooga Ooga guy! I love him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss this series, I really am. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I like how it turned out, but this is my favorite game of all time. It really is, and it's just the mood of the game is perfect. I love the dungeons. I just, uh, things like this with Pamela and her father. I just, I just love this game so much. And let's not forget about the wedding. There's Andrew. There's Tingle, doing whatever, and oh, he's crying. It's okay, Tingle. We all love you. Okay, well, I don't know what you're doing now. I like how the mayor brought his chair out, by the way. By the way, I find it interesting how they intentionally did not show Cafe. I, that's to leave it to you to think whether he's still a child or not. And let's not forget that there were still some people that were lost. It's not a happy ending for everyone, such as the Deku Butler's son. Darmani and Mikal.
and it's time for us to head back to Hyrule and leave Termina forever. Thanks guys for watching this series. I'll see you guys in my next Let's Play when I encounter something bigger than I've ever dealt with before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.